Search Engine, and I am G, your host. And I am KK, your co-host. And we have got another concept car. Yes, we got concept cars running out of our ears. <laughs> what do you think about these concept cars so far? I actually like them. I would love to have one, but I just can't afford one. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they're, they're real expensive. They're expensive. Yeah, right. yeah, they only but, hey, one. my birthday's coming up, so <laughs> real you viewers, soon. yeah. Real soon. <laughs> okay, this one is the Corvette Stingray concept car. It's a racer concept car. It was a privately funded and formed on a basis for the second generation Corvette Stingray. The Stingray racer concept car was designed, the youngest designer of, to work at GM at that time. The GM mm -hmm. vice president of styling, and in 1959, the basis of the Stingray was a 1957 Corvette SS. The Corvette SS, okay, a stillborn racing project. The Stingray exists today with a 327 cubic inch, 5.4 liter, fuel injected V8 of 375 horsepower. Okay, that's what you saw right here. Okay, now the, the Corvette SS is a predecessor. The Corvette, 1957 Corvette SS was a racing car project created by a team of engineers as part of the creation of an official Chevrolet race effort meant to culminate with racing. Soon after its race debut at the race track, where it was retired after 23 laps, the Automobile Manufacturers Association banned manufactured sponsor racing and the SS was regulated to test track duty and use as a test mule chassis. The car was both, both light and fast at 1,850 pounds, which is really light. Because wow. my Shelby is 3,900 pounds. So wow. a big difference. With 375 horsepower and reached a recorded top speed of 183 miles per hour at Sebring. Now, I never have been to Sebring yet. This is where they do all the racing and all. And that's another concept car. Gone by the wayside. And this is our show. I'm G, your host. And I am KK, your co-host. We're out of here. See, See ya. ya.